So I come to you guys with some immediate breaking news. It seems that last night a YouTube channel that goes by the name of Tough News TV um, is reporting exclusively that Cassie is going under witness protection. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back at it again, it is daily and consistent content. Subscribe to the channel. Let's get straight into this mess. Super thanks, I would appreciate it. Comment down below and please give this video a thumbs up. It's just one click. Now, I'm confused by this. Obviously, you know, it is quite alarming and that this person was basically received an exclusive letter from a very solid source is what he is saying. It goes by the name of Tough News TV. Shout out to him for the constant uploads I've seen. And I think that, you know, it's good that people are pressing on this conversation first and foremost. Now, let's get into this conversation where this is the letter he received. I want to just quickly read it out to you where it says, Cassie's parents are pushing for Sir, brother, I hope you're okay. I just want to enlighten you what the F is going on. Cassie's parents are pushing for federal charges to be brought against Diddy in the state of California for the years of abuse inflicted upon their daughter. Cassie has fled back to her hometown of New London, Connecticut, and has 24 hour security monitoring her place of residence. Recently, she was cited and I did a video on it. I don't know where that location is. I'm going to double check that to see if that corroborates. Um, and has, I'm told that there have been talks of putting Cassie and her entire family in a witness protection program in the next coming weeks. After federal charges are filed against Diddy, Cassie's husband, Alex Fine, has reported to federal officials that he and his entire family have been receiving significant death threats after the conclusion of his wife and Diddy reaching a settlement. Interesting. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. He's the husband of the family. He wants to protect her. He feels like he's been protecting her. Cassie has said to already have put a will in place to ensure that in the event that something happens to her, that her family will be taken care of. I'm glad. Cassie also says that it was her intent to expose Diddy publicly to garner her safety to some degree rather than settling quietly. Absolutely agree. And I'm glad that she's done that because not everyone's talking about it. Cassie still feels, as long as Diddy is free, that he will retaliate in some way, shape, or form. She feels that the one thing you don't do is give Diddy time to plot and plan because he is extremely dangerous in that way. It's also been brought to my attention that before Kim moved out to California, after Diddy bribed her by buying her mansion, giving her $2 million and showing her other materialistic things, Kimura begged Kim not to move into a home Diddy purchased for her and also not to accept anything from her, him for that matter because it was a form of manipulation and control. Cassie has also told her lawyers that she was pregnant at least seven different times and was forced to have a wow. And even though that she never wanted the kids with Diddy or anyone else, that she was forced to be intimate with. It's been echoed that Cassie was worried about her ability to conceive later on in life. She thought that having so many that somehow would affect her fertility. That she secretly tried to have her eggs frozen in an effort to have an IVF done later on. But Diddy found out about this appointment and he cancelled it. Of course he did. Um, Cassie did not want that information leaked into the lawsuit um, for some reason, according to another lawyer from a different... So I don't know how valid this letter is, guys. Um, from a different law firm with direct access to Cassie's information. Um, yeah, so I just I just don't know. The, the letter goes on more about what Kim had on uh, PDD, but I don't know on the validity of the source because it obviously is just like, you know, a random... Um, page of just written words like that could like anybody could have written that child and you know just said it for argument's sake playing devil's advocate it could just be fake but at the same time it could also be a solid source I don't know but you know right now it's all just alleged information and the fact that you know Alex and Cassie's parents want to file federal charges and the fact that she's going to witness protection she's back in Connecticut she feels for her safety it's not far-fetched to believe, guys. With everything that was said in a lawsuit, every video has resurfaced and people been speaking out, all of these ex-assistants, these two new fresh lawsuits, it's not far-fetched to believe. This source sounds believable, but I don't know it to be true, but it's what this man has come forth to cite as an exclusive source. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Comment down below and make of this information with what you, know, you will, whether you believe it or not. I would appreciate it if you subscribe and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.